Okay, what I want to show you today is how to create a perpendicular line so you can get, if you're trying to square a building or square anything when you're doing construction, you want to get a right triangle right through here. And so um, you can do that with simple high school math. We're going to take this line here and whatever number we choose, we're going to square it. Then we're going to take this number and we're going to square it. We're going to add those two numbers together and calculate the, and uh, do the square root of that number, whatever the total is, it'll give us this dimension. So real simple to do. This can be, we're going to do right now, we're going to do even. It's 12 foot here, 12 foot here, and then we'll get that one, that, that dimension. So, uh, but it can be any number. It's going to be, it doesn't have to be even. This could be 6 foot, 9 foot, whatever it might be. So we're going to start right here. I'm going to use a program called Sketch. And then you kind of see the calculations. We're going to go in here and make this 12 foot. You can see down here on the right-hand corner, 12 turns into 12 foot. And we're going to go do this one the same way, vertical. So we're going to do 12 foot here. You can see over in the right-hand corner how it does 12 foot. So we've got a 12 foot line here, a 12 foot line here. And um, I'll show you, we, we'll take our tape measure tool and show you this line should be 12 foot. And this line is 12 foot. You can see over in the right-hand corner. Okay. So now we want, we know those numbers. We're going to pull up our calculator here. We're going to take 12 foot times 12 foot, that squares it, equals 144. So that's this number. And whatever this number is going to be, we know it's going to be the same. 12 foot times 12 foot equals 144. That could be any number, but that's what we have. So we're going to add now 140, this number plus this number, 144 plus 144. Uh, Plus, let's see, uh, plus 144 equals 288. And then we're going to do a square root of that number. It'll give us our calculation. So we do a square root. gives us 16.97 feet, which equals right around 17 feet, three one-hundredths of an inch off. And so this, this distance here will be 17 feet. I'll show you that with our tape measure. It's going to be pretty close to that, 17 16.11 and a half inches, so which is jives with our calculation. So again, we can do this for any number. Let's say we want to make this to be six foot. Oops, sorry. We want this number to be. Uh, we're building a, say, a barn, and we're going to have a, a 12 foot here and six foot here. We want to get these corners squared. So we'll go. We know this is 12 foot. We're going to go up here, create another line that's six foot. So we'll go up here. Um, we'll do six foot. And now we're going to go uh, add those together. So we'll go 12 foot times 12 foot. This line here equals 144 again. We're going to calculate this knot line now is six foot times six is 36. We add those together. 36 plus 144 equals 180, and then we just get a square root of it. And that's 13, a little less than 13 and a half inches. So you could calculate that turn around. It's going to be probably 13.5 inches or so. So we'll check that with our tape measure. Yeah, 13.5 inches. So that came out just right. So again, you can do that. So if you're building a square barn, you would do the same thing this other way. You'd run your, it'd be 13.5 this way. Then you'd want to run it this way at this angle, like this. It'd be 13.5 also. That gives you a square building. So that's how you square things up using your tape measure and a little bit of uh, square root calculations.